over in Torremolinos, husband and wife duo Wayne and Lisa are all set for their ale tasting session. Oh, I can see a few of them coming now. This is fun, Wayne. Wayne risks going back to the brewing board if he doesn't wet his sampling squad's taste buds. This is real good. <laughs> Plus one, I think, as well. So, we might have to move you. Because the other people who are boxed are outside now. Oh, man, that's very nice. I'm going to squeeze you in somewhere. Why don't mind squeezing you? That's what I mean. That's yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I had a quick word in it. You don't mind moving. We've gone from 20 to 22, which is good, the more the merrier, you know, keep it coming. And Wayne needs them feeling good about his new ale. The lunch club, we started generally with friends, each and each week, and it grew and grew. Wherever we go, we find a nice restaurant where they serve really good food, have a drink and just have a, a good time with everybody. Talking of drink... They're nice and cool, they're lovely. You can see how cold they are. Uh, they're, they're a bit too cold, I think. It's important Wayne gets the ales right. By my bucket, they look really rubbish, really, but it's a lesson learned. I'm going to be soon in these, these posh, posh glasses. Uh, they're made of uh, very fine plastic. I am looking forward to trying the craft beer. I don't generally drink uh, craft ales, but I'm going to be looking forward to trying this one. Yeah, I'll get slightly nervous. We've got maybe 22 people here, and we've got 18 people other than 22 who basically don't drink craft ale. Not the best odds, Wayne. Let's stay positive. The water's starting to go and set into the labels now, so we're going to have to... We have to be quick and get them out before the, the labels drop off inside the bucket. Better get them tasted. Hey guys, uh, this is a beer brewed here in Spain. Um, it's uh, an amber ale. It's got four malts in this, 6.5%. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know how you think. Yum, yum. <laughs> Very proud of them. Chuck it in and then, you, then you've got a nice, you've got a nice head on it then. Because it's, it's so fresh. It comes out like that over the next couple of weeks. It'll, it'll go like that. Uh, I love real ale. I drink it in Cornwall. It's just really nice. It's different. The beer is wonderful. It's, uh, I think the uh, hops are from the southern slopes. Really? As the tasting draws to a close, it's time for Wayne to find out if his brown ale's a hit or a miss. Feedback is good. Even the craft ale drinkers who don't drink it have enjoyed it. They've tasted it and they said, oh, it's lovely. But it's been like three years in the making and it's happened today and it's all gone very well. Which means Wayne can get brewing on cases of his craft ale. In the season next year, that we will do very well and we'll just be supplying the whole coast. And uh, we're basically going to see if we can get uh, the beer put inside the supermarkets. That's a cause for celebration, Wayne. It's been very good, very positive. Next time on the Costas, Things get tense with Louise and Ed. Excuse me, I'm in charge of the suit today. Our magician Matt Wright. Absolutely brilliant. Has something secretive up his sleeve. Everybody's favourite. <laughs>